Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. Thanks for uh, thanks for reaching out. Yeah, no problem. I don't know how I can, um, or if I can clear up anything, or if I can answer questions that I definitely have the answers to, and or and at least factual information. But I'll yeah. try. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I guess first, before we get into it. Um, what do you want me to call you for this? Because I can use a different name for you for the sake of this conversation. So we could call you Jim, for example, or Tom, like whatever you would, yeah. you, know, you know, whatever name you choose, I can just call you that as if, and, I, and I'll mention that, you know, this name is not the same name, but this is what we're going to call him for the sake of this call, those kinds of things. You can refer to me as Scott Washington. Scott Washington. All right. I'll just say Scott then for the sake of this. And then, uh, yeah, we can go from there. So, um, okay. okay. So you said you um, you came across one of my YouTube videos on Tony Klein. You said yeah, you've known right. him for fifty years. Correct. Um, just go ahead and I guess introduce. I, I know you can't say everything uh, in detail. I know you said you've talked to law enforcement already. You've been you know right. you've talked to Indiana State, State Police. Um, I'm sure you've had extensive conversations with many people. Um, as much as you're able to say, you know, what, what is your relationship with, I don't know if I just, a lot of people use TK when referring to Tony, okay. I'll just, I'll just say TK I'll, throughout I can do this. That. Um, I can do that. Yeah. yeah just right. go ahead and give your kind of background as much as you're able to say. Um, and then we can kind of go into it from there. Cause I, I definitely want to give you the floor as well, since you reached out to me about, you know, clearing some things up. So I, I, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if there was speculation on, I, I've seen so many videos in the last um, three months from people that are posting on and, and the amount of Facebook and YouTube lawyers, investigators, quote-unquote police, uh, amateur sleuth, if you will, is uh, frightening. Mm -hmm. and, and to see them go off on tangents that are completely wild. Um, and I had even told the state police when they come over, when they basically reached out to me out of the Lafayette, Indiana post, they're first and foremost, they wanted to know the basic details. Um, and the reason they reached out to me is because when they apparently when uh, TK and his son had came back from Las Vegas, mm -hmm. there was uh, a time frame uh, discrepancy um, on their part. On, on law enforcement um, end uh, that they were on, trying to on, square with? No, on, on, well, there the um i believe it was a some facebook posts that tony had posted and i think everybody pretty much had seen the posts with him and his kids um standing in with in front of there was like several posts and, and i don't know i'm not on facebook so it's only things that I have seen kind of vicariously, even through him, things that he has sent to me of him at, I believe, at Hoover Dam and mm, at yeah, uh, yeah. standing with, standing with uh, you know, with some exotic cars and stuff. So there's definitely a, a time frame stamp, if you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the, the first things the Indiana State Police had asked me is if I had any recollection of time frame when they went out and when uh, the in conjunction or in association with the murders. Mm -hmm. And I said, I thought with just going through recollection that I thought that they had was out there two weeks prior. And then it came to light that it was actually two weeks afterwards. That they were, and, okay, so at the very end of February then, roughly? 
Uh, it it, it appears there? to be, be yeah, some, maybe even the first week of March. Gotcha. Okay. Um, oh, there was a discrepancy. We were told that Kagan had um, had been out in Las Vegas for quite a considerable amount of time. And you say we as um, in, like, uh, uh, TK was under the impression that, as well? That, just that We were all under the impression mm-hmm. because TK had kept telling all of us in his inner circle, if you will, right. that... That he was kind of out there for a couple of years almost, it kind of seemed, or at least... It seemed to be, he was giving us the indication that he was uh, funding him... Uh, to go to blackjack dealer school, and that he was working at a couple of different casinos, okay. and that it was costing, uh, you know, a considerable amount of money uh, at the time. Uh, I was, we were, and it was confirmed with the state police. It was um, over twenty five thousand dollars that he had given to Kagan over. A series of months that he was um, away from Indiana. Mm-hmm. We had, and I use the general term "we." Yeah. Um, the state police had informed me that none of that was true, mm-hmm. and that it was their opinion. I don't believe they can. I, Maybe it, it is factual that the only time Kagan went out to Las Vegas or the either one of them mm-hmm. was when Tony went out with him, apparently, uh, to, quote, unquote, bring him home. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's it's unclear so, exactly how long um, Kagan was out there, but obviously he was out there at some point because we have... Like yes. you said, photo evidence, even yes. with, with there is, Tony, yes. and it's timestamped, there's dates, so yes. it's just unclear and, on and how the long, yeah. state police were even indicating to me that they were trying, it, it, it was their estimation that they were trying to establish a timeline for themselves on Facebook to give the indication or the appearance that there was no possible way that that could have happened because they were gone. Uh-huh. So they could not be implicated or could be not a part of this. And so they have that. Um, uh, fast forward to where I got involved and it was a complete shock to me because I had any time TK had ever called me or it was mostly when he would, um, I would see him in person mm-hmm. anytime that, um, Kagan in his situation was mentioned. It was, uh, really hard for him to, It would, have, it would be hard for him to talk about, not necessarily try to try to figure out what he was going to say. He would just become agitated. And, and this is when talking about, like, Kagan's situation why, of... Why, yeah, uh, yeah, his legal issues with yeah. uh, uh, the FBI just and... His, his current allegations. Yeah. And yeah. All that stuff. Yes, gotcha. correct. The... Um, Some of the other things that were uh, brought up to me when I was contacted by the state police, um, they had called me firstly because the main ingredient uh, I was contacted and I was asked to come to a local uh, police department of my choosing so we could have a... um, 
one-on-one -on -one conversation. I was interrogated by two Indiana State Police people and an FBI profiler. Mm -hmm. And it was not formal, but it was formal enough. Okay. Recorded, uh, videotaped, and recorded. Mm -hmm. And they, the first and foremost question that came out was, do you remember the night in, of, uh, do you remember anything about February 14th, five years ago? And um, other than the fact that we knew that the double homicide had happened, they were like, do you remember anything out of the ordinary? I guess this is what they were asking. I'm like, no, I have no clue. At the time, I was working uh, five days a week, 12 hours a day, and nothing stood out that of any any other or inordinary day. So they wanted to know. He says, um, the night in question between or at uh, 8 p.m., Two phone calls were made to your phone number within one minute of each other on the night of the homicide. Can to you explain your phone? That? My personal phone. Okay. I'm like, bye, from TK. Oh, they were from TK that night? Correct. Okay. The only, they're trying to, I said it was not out of the ordinary at all for TK to call me once in the morning and once in the evening um, between, you know, the same kind of time frames in a 12-hour period, probably between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. Okay. Because and of the so, hours that I particularly worked. Yeah. What they wanted to know was, is you know, was there was there anything that was this un, unusual? And I'm like, you have all the phone records, so you tell me. So, I mean, if you can look, if they looked at my phone. They kept my phone for three days. They wanted to know if I would voluntarily give them my phone mm -hmm. and I said I, I don't have a problem with that I said um, the problem is is that you can only go about about 14 months because this is a brand new phone and I don't know what you're going to find other than conversations or the amount of phone calls um, that he has given to me I said but here's here's a factual thing right off the bat he has never sent me an inappropriate photo. And I say that because I am, I have other guy friends that would, you know, send me pictures of girls in bikinis or, you know, this and that, how, you know, quote unquote guy behavior. Um, nothing like that has ever happened ever mm -hmm. before or after. Um, this incident and I, uh, that was the first thing that kind of drew up a red flag for me. It was not necessarily a red flag, but a defensive mode for TK in it to against the police just to say, Hey, look, um, you know, I can understand, you know, you're asking me i said but you know well, i don't know what you're looking for but if you're looking for something i can guarantee you that that this didn't happen so this would have been so like roughly when that you had to give your phone this is like five years Maybe, after the face right this was within the last 30 days oh wow okay. they come to they come they contacted me what they apparently had done in the interim, was um, probably within the last year. I had TK had contacted uh, a lot. He changed phone numbers, mm -hmm. and apparently this might have been right after the time that 
uh, when they had come home from Las Vegas, and then there was a raid, and then that's when they found out how many phones Kagan had operating Mm -hmm. at the same time, and then they had taken um, all their electronic devices, including their house computer, um, and whatever else has been disclosed. I know there was an iPad and maybe something else. I don't know. Yeah. And I know Tony's phone was as well. Okay. And they brought the big black FBI van in, kept everything, kept them separated. Took and, them and out you to know the that they police. brought that in just because you were told that, or you just? I I know that to be I know that to be fact. So someone told that you they told brought that in, or that they... was told to, that was told that was told to me by separately by the state police. Gotcha, gotcha. And by PK himself. Okay. Let's he get had to... called me. Go ahead. Oh yeah, let's get let's backtrack just for a moment because you had mentioned yep. getting phone calls from TK at roughly the same time each day in the morning and the Pretty evening. Much. Um. Did you guys, I mean, you can't explain where you work or anything. Did you guys work together? Like, what was the, would you guys consider no. yourselves best friends? Like, what is the relationship? I guess, kind of backtrack into how, as much as you can say of how right. you met him and, and why you were I, that, like, talking I've to known, him that often. I have known um, TK uh, for over 40 years. Um we, without disclosing a whole bunch, we, um, and I don't know if you can, you know, edit this or, or whatever, whatever mm-hmm. you can do. Our parents were high school, um, classmates. Mm-hmm. We lived, we lived in the same part of town mm-hmm. and TK is an exceptionally popular person in that town okay. he the, knows, has is well known um doesn't really know a stranger and everybody likes him which is why this is kind of shocking so we're coming into coming to uh, find out the factual uh, events of his past legal issues is disturbing and wait so you're talking about his, his legal issues yes his own so could you explain like w- what those are exactly because i think people are confused well, because they're i don't know if you've heard his uh do you know of his you know uh, stepson of his yes, name I, I i was just yeah, I was going to to get to that because the state police. One of the first things uh, that they were asking me as well. They're like, "How many times, or how many kids does Tony have?" And I'm like, I kind of looked confused, and I said, "Kagan is the only person, is the only child that I know of from his first wife, or from." And I said, "His, his wife." ex-wife Robin Mm -hmm. and they're like would it shock you to know that he's been married twice I said yes it would it would shock me greatly yeah and then they got into um, the second wife and the stepchildren and the things the accusations not only that the police reports I got to read those Uh I got to read um, the court case, uh, the findings, um, past criminal behavior, past criminal uh, convictions, mm-hmm. and nothing like that had ever come out, or not only that, has never been spoken of by him yeah. to me in the last 18 years that we, our relationship may have gotten at least a little bit more uh, closer just because of our uh, 
relationship of our extracurricular activity. We, we ride, used to ride motorcycles together. Okay. So. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. You're saying basically in the kind of adult phase of you knowing him, it would it surprises right. you that he, you didn't know about this uh, other set of kids. He never disclosed that you know, whatsoever. And, yeah, yeah, no, so nothing. I can yeah. see. Never yeah. disclosed that. And I'm like, when the state police were telling me that, they're, I'm like, no. Hmm. In complete denial. And they're like, he was married to this girl. I mean, they're showing me factual documents right and this is our stepchildren and he did this mm -hmm. and i'm like I'm, I'm just floored yeah and then i then and then i find out that there was you know the, the violence against them mm -hmm. and he's and 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 tony's not he's not an open book by any means mm -hmm. but He will let you know, you know, that he's done every drug under that's ever been made and drank everything that's ever been concocted. Mm -hmm. So, Open I attribute to, I, yeah. yeah, I, I attribute to uh, some of that behavior uh, to some of those uh, conditions. Yeah. So I'm that part has never uh, was just it was a side of him that I did not ever see I may have seen him drink two maybe two beers in front of me but never drunk mm -hmm. um, but I but I'll also say this I mean our, our social relationship was limited to Large social events, yeah. motorcycle events, um, and maybe a two-hour motor motorcycle ride in the country to, you know, a, a destination, and have a bite to eat and then drive back home. Yeah, that type of stuff. Okay. No overnight. No overnight stays. No, nothing like that. I'm a fair weather rider. Yeah. And I, I, I've n never rode in the dark, and I told him that's two things I will not do is ride in the rain and ride in the dark, and I've pretty much kept to that. So, mm -hmm. But gotcha. to get back on course, um, when the state police had shown me what he had had been alleged of doing and then had been convicted of doing it didn't seem like and it was even more than one of his convicted crimes that it did not take much for the police to say here's the evidence we have against you and he admitted immediately hmm. from the from the evidence i mean the like the Pizza Hut incidents, even the things that had happened post 2000, 2003, I think I was reading 2005 of some just odd criminal behavior at this stage in his life. Yeah. And you're saying he admitted to what exactly? Are you, do you know what? I, 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 I'm, I'm remembering that there was a, uh, a uh, I don't know if they charged him with robbery or not, mm -hmm. but there was an incident involving a pizza hut, and I don't even remember what town it was in, of, of either theft or robbery, and I believe there was a reimbursement of almost $700. Okay. Um, yeah, because some of the things that they were showing me or just uh, things that I couldn't wrap my head around. I was thinking, well, maybe they pulled him over for, you know, a DWI, and maybe that there was, there maybe have been one of those. And there was a couple of incidents that he 
spoke freely about to me that uh, was just in such vague terms I didn't even pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. I knew that he had never, I think he had told me once when he was a kid, like not even 21, that he had to spend a considerable amount of time weekends in jail hmm. to do something. That may have been, um, may have coincided with the Pizza Hut incident. I'm, I'm not exactly sure because... I was going through, they were showing me so much and then taking it away and then showing me this and then taking it away. And have I ever seen this? Or do you know who this is? And it showed me pictures of a couple of people. Mm-hmm. And on my head's a spin and I'm like, guys, this is, this is more than I can process. I said, you know, I'm like, I'm talking to, I'm talking to you about somebody that was, you know, in my presence within five feet of me for two hours yesterday and now I'm talking to you about this person almost like he's a like there's like there's a different person but mm-hmm. we're talking about the same person it's just it it is just doesn't make sense so and then they showed me the, the evidence and it was Disturbing is the first word I that comes to mind, but like the evidence of just kind of the like maybe physical abuse that was happening in the house, or what? What yeah. evidence are you referring yeah. to here? Yeah, yeah, showing showing me, you know, the, the, the some of the photos of uh, of the uh, criminal activity involving the second wife and the stepchildren, okay. and. I'm I'm just not processing it, uh, but I know right. that he has a an explosive temper. Okay, and he always kind of made not necessarily a joke, but he would always make comments about this girl or that girl that he may have been either talking to or in a half dating, half, you know, social environment style of relationship with at the moment. Okay. And he's like, I got to, you know, and with, and with the reference, like, I got to get away from this girl. She's bipolar. You know, she's nuts. Or I went to the bathroom at this girl's house and, you know, I had seen this type of medicine and this type of medicine and it, and I looked it up to make sure I wasn't, dealing with you know a sociopath and then the next thing out of his mouth is man you know she's nuts and has the medication to prove it and i'm like okay so but then i find out that he's the one that has been diagnosed with bipolar manic depressive Mm -hmm. and he's the one that's on his meds and so you, and you, you, found that, you found this out through the law enforcement, through some of the stuff that's come out. Okay, gotcha. Because yeah. these stories yeah. of him referring to some of these uh, women in his life, these were just kind of in passing throughout the years or as of like pretty recently? Yes, recent. Gotcha. People that he had been in somewhat quote unquote relationships with yeah. okay. local, locally. Yeah. Um, there were several, when the state police had me in questioning, they had pulled out, they had asked me if I had known who he was socially seeing girlfriend wise, mm-hmm. people that I could remember within the last year. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I know, you know, I know of this girl, this girl, you know, there was probably three or four. Mm-hmm. And I could name them by two of them that I could name them by name, complete names, first and last. That I knew that they were actually um, they were actually like, real people. Mm-hmm. And they had come to find out that through their own investigation, some of the photos that he was saying that the girls that he was dating 
were girls off the internet. Mm-hmm. So you, you didn't know I, if those girls were real. You just kind of heard first names maybe. Correct. And you just, yeah, the other, you said there were a couple though that you knew of and you knew they were real because they were. I know that they, I local. knew that they were real people because I, I knew of their proximity. Yeah. You knew um, that they existed. Yeah. I, just I the knew internet. they existed. You were correct. Right. Okay. And um, so I'm like, okay, well, and it kind of, it, it, as the police and I were talking, we're like, has, has he ever brought any of these girls around to you? I mean, have you ever seen them in a social situation where they would be together and you, know, you mm-hmm. could stop for dinner or you call me or no, this, no, that never happened. Right. Don't you find that odd? I'm like, yeah, I find that odd. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. every woman that I've ever dated has eventually met my closest allies. Right, yeah. And, well, and, and it's odd pairing with the idea that you didn't even know about, or the information that either was before that or after that, that you didn't even know about these kids with another wife, you know? So it's like, um, I think all of it's a bit odd for sure, especially for you to find out kind of just in that moment. So I'm sure that was uh, a little bit a little bit odd for you, yeah. So Correct. I was also asked about um, if I had ever had any um, interaction with Kagan at all, ever. And I'm like, no. Um, I vaguely remember a five-second, hi, how are you, um, over, over the phone of... As TK was calling me, the kid was in the background, and he, you know, screamed, hey, mm-hmm. my name. So, yeah. but um, I had started asking really hard questions to the state police instead of kind of, I didn't necessarily flip the script on them. But I was asking them questions. I'm like, okay, here we are, five years past. And I said, but before that, I said, um, are you aware of TK's medical conditions? And they're like, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but some of this doesn't make sense because I'm watching the comparisons of the rich guy who is considerably less obese than TK. Mm -hmm. But I'm also listening to voice comparisons. Mm -hmm. And I just told the, the state police, I'm like, neither one of TK or Kagan is the get down the bri- uh, down the hill bridge guy? Neither one of them. And I said, first of all, I said I've never seen TK in a pair of jeans in my life. I've he has never even when I've seen him after work, and I've had people tell me that have worked with him. And it's always been a running joke that he's always in a hooded sweatshirt and a pair of basketball shorts when there's three foot of snow outside in the middle of February. Mm-hmm. So, so that didn't line and, up for sure, yeah. No. And at the time, he was probably 265, 275 pounds. Tony or Kagan? Tony. Tony. Yeah. I, I've never seen Kagan in person in real life. And from what I've seen, the guy's pushing three bills. Mm-hmm. So you've known, okay, I, I guess try to, I know it's kind of hard to, you've known him. You said on, when you reached out to me, 50 years. So you, 
clearly your relationship, you're close to him, but obviously he either kept a lot of his family life very to himself or never did a lot with his family and his friends. Um, you say you've never seen, you've, you've never seen Kagan no. in person. So for someone, no. do you, are you, how, how would you explain your relationship with Tony? Uh, like, are, do you guys, would you have considered yourselves at one point, like really close friends, best friends? And then how, no. how, how did you not in that time ever? He, yeah, go ahead. he basically a attached himself to me. Mm -hmm. I did not attach myself to him. He, he does have a reputation that precedes himself. Um, of the deviant nature, mm -hmm. voyeurism. Um, even as far back as I can remember, between 12 and 16 years old, we had always heard in the neighborhood that he had had issues with acting out sexually. Yeah. That was that I know that that was mentioned on uh, one of the episodes of the Murder Sheet podcast. I don't know if you'd heard of that, um, talking about kind of his high schoolish times of being a peeping tom. Is this kind of what you're talking about? I had Moments. heard that. Okay. I had heard. I had heard that. I had heard um, that it was not uncommon for if there were large large parties large teenage parties at the time if their alcohol was involved um that sooner or later depending on and it always sounded like at the time that tk never was with a a girl uh, um as as one would have a, a high school girlfriend at the time mm -hmm that if he was there by himself or with a bunch of guys, he would, nine times out of ten, if there were, you know, if there was things that were leading up to, um, as high school kids do, you know, getting drunk and mm -hmm. acting out sexually, that Tony would be there somewhere along the line, either trying to get, in, trying to get involved himself. Mm-hmm in front of the couple with, uh, that was trying to, um, you know, go at it, so to speak. I've heard that from a couple of different people that said that, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so were trying to hook up in the people's house whose parents were gone and they were in their bed and, you know, there comes TK and he's fully naked. Hmm. And you know he's ready to get involved too. So yeah, I'm like, no, this. Is, and that's first of all, I was thinking one time thing. I'm hearing it, and I hear it two and three times. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, there's got to be there's got to be legs to this. And so you you were hearing of these stories like way down the line, like recently. And then and you're talking, surprised by this? I'm, or talking this is 30, I'm, I'm talking 30 years ago we had heard these stories. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So story, he, he, stories he like... Not, go ahead, sorry. He, well, he was not in my immediate social group okay. um, at all. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were just too far apart in years uh, as far as just social groups. I was... You know, older than him. Okay. And we just ran. There was a, there was a big enough gap in our ages that we were just running in, um, just two different social circles. Yeah. Okay. But they would they would cross oh. at times because you had, like you said, you shared similar hobbies, riding motorcycles, Correct. things like that. And so, he okay. had a, he had family members that I was close to. Mm. Um, he had a sister. Mm -hmm. Has a sister that I am close to, mm -hmm. but she seems to be separated herself enough um, physically and probably every other way right. from this particular situation as well. She's yep. made no comment whatsoever. 